MFA, thank you very much. But your initial comments um, are a bit problematic. You know, you were saying that the new owners were the boys too. Mm -hmm. um, that is not uh, totally the case. I won't say you are wrong, mm -hmm. you know, but I would say that is not totally the case. But the, the background that your, your colleague presented is very accurate. So, at, at the beginning of TV, in the early 60s, the, the Republic of Ghana needed to set up a TV relay station for GBC. So, a land which is on top of the Ajangote, the hill, was acquired for that purpose. And it was the fight over compensation which led to the case which your colleague referred to which is known in the in the field as civil appeal number 4980 civil appeal number 4980 now in, in the court of appeal when it gave its judgment in the civil appeal number 4980 said that the new family and their grantees were the owners of the acquired land, which is the 25 acres, and the land contiguous. This is what has landed us into where we are today. Mm. The dispute was over 25 acres. How the Court of Appeal ended up saying that the land contiguous was also owned by the Numomasi family and their grantees was because a survey report had been filed, which had been fraudulently obtained. And the Court of Appeals judgment was on the basis of the fraud. Well, but, but really, I don't know, um, Lawyer Kwame Jan, the concern now for many who are listening, at least those who live in Adenta, Adringano, those who may have bought lands from this Numu Mashi family of Teshi, really, what then happens now that the boy family has been giving that court order? No, so it is not the boy family only okay. that has been given the order. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court very clearly said the family which is the appropriate owner is where you are told tenancy to, not the boy family. Because the boy family also claim ownership to a limited area, not the entire 72,000 acres. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, if you, if you look at the range covered by that judgment, so for example, if you come to Hacho, there is a Supreme Court judgment in a case called Amate and Odonko mm -hmm. who say that the Ni Amasogna family are the Alodia owners of Hacho. So if Numomasi people sold you land in Hacho, you will not go to the boys too. Okay. You will go to the Ni Amasogna people for good title. So wh wherever you are, if you are in Adenta, everybody knows that Adenta is Agbawe quarter of La. So you have to go to the right people, not the boys too. Okay. If you are in Oyarifa, you don't go to the boys too. But Oyarifa is La and Agbawe Kota. Right now, the challenge is knowing who exactly owns the land. Who, who exactly? Owns exactly. Property the owner, if people is come to me. knowing who your landlord is. Exactly. So if people come to me at this point following this particular Supreme Court order, what do I have to do as a property owner? If you are a property owner... And for example, if you are in East Lagos, the area popularly known as Bawaleshi, there are judgments of course of competent jurisdiction mm -hmm. who say that East Lagos, La Bawaleshi and Otele belong to the clan quarter of La. So, I mean, you can even get assistance from the Lands Commission. Okay. The Lands Commission is the best place to go now. If you have any doubt, as to who your landlord is in this current state of affairs, go to the Lands Commission. Show them where your parcel is. Because by order of the Supreme Court, the Lands Commission has to lapse all the documents which have been presented by clients of Mumomashi. 
Okay. Lawyer Kwame Jan, we'll leave you here for now. And I'm sure that he's always on hand um, to help us with the situation. We'll be hearing from the Lands Commission also. But if you're a property owner, what you ought to do now is ought to stay calm. And like you've heard from Lawyer Kwame Jan, the Lands Commission is the right place uh, to go as we explore this issue further subsequently.